This is a 10 minute presentation about the Pure Maths strand of the MEI Further Maths Specification for First Teaching in 2017. It is about both the mandatory Core Pure paper and two optional papers in the Pure Maths strand. For A Level Further Maths, you have to take a Core Pure unit worth 50% of the A level. There are two more optional minor units in Pure Maths, which you can choose if you wish. For AS Further Maths, there's a mandatory Core Pure unit. It has a third of the content of the A level Core Pure unit. You can co teach AS and A level if you teach this third in year 12 and leave two thirds of the Core Pure unit till year 13. In the current MEI spec, this is like teaching FP1 in year 12 and FP2 and differential equations in year 13. Of course, the new spec is linear, so all the exams are at the end of the course. Extra Pure and Further Pure with Technology are optional A-level units. They're not available as AS units. This presentation is about the mandatory and the optional units. Here's an outline of the content of the mandatory core pure. The left hand column is the content of the AS core pure unit. The two columns together make up the A-level core pure unit. We recommend you teach the left hand column in year 12 and the right hand column in year 13. This will take up a third of the teaching time in year 12 and two thirds of the year 13 teaching time. We considered making it a 50-50 split between year 12 and 13, but it seemed difficult to make it co-teachable with AS maths. Of course, if you're not taking AS qualifications, then you can split the teaching between year 12 and year 13 in any way you want. The A-level core pure content was chosen for all specs by ALCAB. We have added one small topic, vector products. This is so helpful when answering questions on, say, the distance between skew lines. All students have to know is that a vector product is a vector perpendicular to two given vectors. They can use a calculator to find it or the formula which will be given. All specs have to include modelling in the mandatory pure content, particularly in the differential equations section. MEI pure papers have always included some modelling, so this is not a change for us. Calculators have to be able to work with 3x3 three three matrices. You can buy a calculator that does this for less than £15. They are powerful. They can perform definite integrals, they can solve cubic equations and give the answers as complex numbers. So candidates need to have a very clear understanding of when they may or may not use such features of their calculator. At AS we expect inverses of 3x3 three three matrices to be worked out by a calculator. At A level maybe candidates might be asked to do this by hand. In the question on the side you can see that in part two there's an integral which perhaps a calculator might be able to calculate. But the statement in bold is saying clearly to the candidate that doing that would not get you marks. You need to show the details of how you have evaluated the integral. You can still use your calculator to check and certainly to work out the values at the limits, but you won't get marks by just writing down the answer to the definite integral. Extra Pure is a minor option in A-level further maths. Most of it is best taught in year 13. 
We've chosen these four topics because they give a flavour of the rigour and some of the topics in undergraduate mathematics, or because they round off a further maths topic, or because they bring out underlying structure and connections between different bits of maths. They're all beautiful. Recurrence relations is a bit of discrete maths, but the parallels with differential equations will be obvious to students. Groups is very similar to the groups topic in FP3 of the current MEI spec, but we've added a little bit about infinite groups. The matrices topic rounds off what's already in further maths by including eigenvectors and eigenvalues. Multivariable calculus is similar to what's in FP3 now, but we've removed approximations using tangent planes. This topic comes to life now with the ability to draw surfaces in 3D graphing technology. There's no choice of questions in this paper. Further Pure with Technology is about using computer software to explore pure maths. We've chosen topics where the technology allows real insight into the mathematics. The technology is not there for its own sake. Using software allows a whole raft of connections, comparisons and conjectures to be made as different situations are explored. For example, in pure maths, you often find one solution to one differential equation. But with the right software, you can consider a whole family of solutions to the differential equation, and even solutions to a family of differential equations linked by a parameter or two. We currently recommend GeoGebra for the graph plotter and CAS. It also has a spreadsheet and Python for the programming language. Other software is available and suitable, and we offer advice about that as well. MEI offers considerable support for the course for teachers and learners. We've been running a unit with the same name in the current spec for about three years now, so we know this works. England is way behind some other countries in the use of technology in maths, and this is a glimpse of what these countries do and what we will be doing one day. Computer algebra systems can solve equations and differentiate and integrate functions and solve differential equations. They can do practically all the things we teach in A-level maths. This doesn't mean we should give up teaching those things, but we should reflect on how technology affects the educational experience. This is how the exams work. The A-level core pure paper is the longest paper in the suite. It's assessing 50% of the course in one paper. The marks have to be scaled so that it's worth 50% of the A-level. The extra pure and the FPT units are both minor options. The going rate for these is usually 60 marks in an hour and 15 minutes. The FPT paper gets longer because candidates have to spend some time writing out things like programs they've written. The AS core pure paper is one hour 15 minutes long. All the AS papers are this length and they all count for a third of the AS. MEI wants to support you in teaching this course, especially where things have changed. Some of the new MEI textbooks and ebooks have already been published and the rest are on their way. The highly regarded integral online resources are being updated and in some cases rewritten with interactive walkthroughs. There's a whole range of face-to-face -face CPD and online webinars, as well as some one-day conferences devoted to further maths. Finally, you can register for the MEI staff room an online place for finding free extra resources, expert help from MEI, and support from other teachers teaching the MEI spec. Do get in touch if you have any questions. We'd be delighted to help.